you know. Um, is it your instinct? It's the instinct means I'm hungry. I want to eat. Intuition is the thing. Ah, oh, yes. Intuition is higher than intellect. It's emotion and intellect. It's a flowing of knowingness. Now, going back to meditation, when you learn to dive within, which is so beautiful an experience, a human, human experience, you contact the ocean of knowingness, pure, vibrant consciousness, knowingness, intuition grows. Intuition is like, uh, it's an ocean of solutions. And you get that knowingness going, you know, it, it, it's, it feeds the, you know, all artistic processes and all creative processes. Nothing we do as man it doesn't, you know, start with, uh, it starts with an idea. Catching those ideas and seeing a way, a knowing a way to translate that, to make something and make it feel correct based on the idea. And, you know, it just goes like that. So there's an intuition going when we see things. Well, also, we know that, that, that only 2 or 3% of our intellect is focused in the cerebral cortex, so the more powerful centers of the brain really already know the answer. But like you said in that Dutch interview, people can't handle uh, what their intellect deep down is telling them at, at the conscious level. Yeah, well, there, there's... Um, uh, what, well, what did you just say in the beginning? Well, I was just saying that, 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 that the cerebral cortex... Uh, well, it, let me just tell you one thing about that, that, that brain of ours. They say we only use 5 or 10% of it. But now with brain research, they can show you that when you transcend, when you really experience the deepest level of life, the full brain is engaged. And it's the only experience that, that, that brings the whole brain into, you know, co Oh, this is amazing. I totally agree with you. Uh, I call it super brainstorming. Do it every day.